that is the only one that we've ever had that goes this small. All the other ones, you try to clamp it down and it doesn't clamp anymore. Does that have a nylon inside? No. Like it's it's all aluminum. No. Okay. It's aluminum grabbing the chip everything. So, so do I just put it. solder paste on top of it? What you do, do? Yeah, essentially. essentially. What you do is take a little bit. What I like to do, what I like to use at the back of my tweezers. Okay. Just take a little bit. You get to you get used to how much you oh, actually well. need. Okay. And that is enough for an SMC. You wait, take the wait, back wait, of your wait. tweezers. A little blob full. Hey, we'll use these. This is and just this. smear it all over it, making sure that you're getting everything in every hole. Here. Everything in every hole. These are what I have just to, that I, I mean, I use it for other stuff, but this hand, this is handy for that because it's like a spatula. Should I use that or this? Let me, I'll more. just try the this. There's already solder paste on it. I appreciate it, though. And you could buy this kit of tweezers. It's got the angle tweezers and the flat tweezers and the wide tweezers. Oh, yeah, the little right. Velcro kits. It's like $9 on Amazon. It's phenomenal. For that. So that bottom corner is perfect so far. So just keep doing that with everything else. Everything should look exactly the same. It's hard to get it up into the top. I suppose that spatula could have made my <laughs> life easier. Because it's flat, that's all. Yeah. yeah, this yeah. Is. Here, you want it? Yeah, let me see it. So you can try, well, if you have a spludger too, you can try a spludger. Yeah, just Anything like a, that's flat. Don't use the pointy. See, these, these are what we have for all the newer ones. It's a multi, multiple piece. It's got this base with a giant magnet and Put oh, your, your chips in here, you put four chips at a time, and then the magnet oh, wow. is what's holding nice. this. Oh, in place. okay. Oh, that's pretty sick. Yeah, mine, so mine sits about this tall, and it's spring loaded, and then it's got like a set of lever that you pull down you where the plate is for this, Usually where, no. the, where the stencil is. This is. We have different ones of this. This oh, is what okay. you have to okay. get for each specific, specific chip, and this base holds multiple of these. Oh. It's in line there on on the outside edge. There's an aluminum ring that you have mm -hmm. to you put the pl you put the stencil in and you screw down the ring, mm -hmm. and then the whole thing goes down where that's, your chip is. That's what that is. It's just that doesn't have the the spring thing and all that stuff on it, and it doesn't that doesn't have the the surround on it. Right? So you learn on this, you pretty much do any of them. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Seamline also has four holders. So, so now do I use hot air on it? Well, you got to clean it off. Clean it off. So with we, what? We take a this? take a piece of paper towel. Uh -huh. And the, hey. there's a there's a safety consideration here. Okay. Whenever you work with solder paste, you need to be very very clean with it. Yeah. It's not only toxic to you, it's dangerous to your board. If you leave this on the back of your tweezers and you touch your board with it, you heat up somewhere on your board that's going to melt in and short out everything that it was touching. So you always want to fully control everywhere where you have solder paste and clean it up immediately. Never let it get anywhere. Don't let it get on your hands. And the other thing too, solder paste usually melts at a lower temperature than mm. regular solder to make it easier to work with. So because of that, it, it um, has more flux and it's tiny little balls. Like if you zoom in really far on this, you'll see that it actually is balls. Just you're missing balls. two. You're missing two. Yeah, yeah tiny micro, micro balls. And if Those you find, are, like me, tiny little ball. And if you find that you don't like paste, that you can also buy different size solder balls themselves. Them, yeah. They're much more of a pain in the ass, but I watched a kid on YouTube one time who does graphic card repairs, like out of his house, and he will sit there and ball chip one at a time. I've done that. There's videos of me doing that on Moses. Uh, Is it? You done? Oh man, I can't. Dude. I bought that. I just I had. Well, we a didn't have a stencil for funnel. the CD3217, or the, the CD3215, okay. and this this is the CD3217. I, I did them by hand before too. That's pretty slick. Did you sell these? No, this is from AliExpress. Oh. You can buy similar stuff like I'm selling them on on eBay, Amazon even. Amazon's kind of expensive for that stuff in my opinion. I like the magnet. That's really neat. You feel feel how yeah, strong it holds it on and everything. I can't find that one. And that's that's not this. That's right, this. Right, right. Because once you take that off with that, oh, no shit. that's not magnetic. It's all oh, the it's stencil. Going it's all the stencil oh, it's that's going through. Wow. Actually, well, while we're here, we're kind of. And that, this is all heat resistant phenolic stuff. It's not yeah. going to melt or anything. Absolutely. Did you put this in alcohol first? No, just wipe it straight dry. Okay. 
Yeah, and don't, not that much pressure, just enough to lift that, everything off of it because you don't want to like push down into the stencil. You know what I use? What do you use? Coffee filters. Here. You've seen a lot of stuff spill on board. You've seen a lot of stuff spill on board. What do you think? This is a desktop board. What do you think they spilled on that? I just bought it. Been like this, and it got splattered into the thing and it ran down. Like you know, I guess. So that's an IPX. Yeah. Uh, hey, you don't have to worry about the board. I got an HJ desktop. I actually have the desktop here, and the board won't This is, this is weird on. when you're when you see it. What you're gonna do is start heating it far away. Let it heat up. Um, as you get closer, you're gonna see. If, be watching it through here because you can't tell on the screen. You're gonna see that it start bubbling a little bit, and then you're gonna see some of the some of the solder paste like puff out of the hole. As soon as you see that move back, and it just a little bit, and maintain that balance to where it's not puffing, but it's bubbling and sizzling, and all of a sudden it'll all come out. I do have two AMD systems right now that are both Ryzen 7, 7 Gen, like I have a 1700X and 1800X. Yeah, how far is that? My laptop I just bought, that's the Ryzen 7 2860H. Oh, yeah. But, um, for the RTX 2060 in it. Uh, I got it. 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 It's bubbling. We're going to be a good thing as you want. The first one. It's got a... Wait, we have a picture. You got a little bit? We got a little bit open. And just run all the way around and not make sure everything's happy. That's some of the top that aren't melted yet in the front of the middle. You know? Come on, man. Solder man. This is where a hot plate also comes in handy. Oh, a hot plate makes this really easy. Just get that top a little bit more. There you go. Done. How much air did you use? Oh, 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 should I take yeah, the stencil off now? Yeah, sure. Uh, it might not come off. You might have to heat it just a little bit to... Um, <laughs> it's not... It, people think that they need to melt the solder again to get a stencil off. You don't need to do that. It is really adhered on by the stickiness of flux. That stencil is flat up against that chip now with a bunch of flux in it. So all you have to do is heat it up enough to get the flux to turn to liquid and it'll pop right off. I want to do that. I want to do that tomorrow. I don't want to try it more. No, no, keep it, keep it right side up. Right side yeah, up. You don't, you want to heat the, you want to heat the balls, not the chip itself. Okay, okay. Yeah, so um, put it back in there, tighten it back up. Anybody know how old you can go back and purchase this anyway? Back I'd imagine it'll be years. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, they just reduced it recently. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. They just reduced it Now I, up. yeah, I just, I just keep my, oh, so about about just like that, that and just start heating it, and eventually the table just oh, yeah. 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 If the table comes off yellow. first, then just do the same <laughs> thing to the stencil. <laughs> oh, yeah. Black is popular. And then this soldering iron here, if you need a cheap soldering iron, but you want a digital one, mm -hmm. it's 90 watts, this is phenomenal. Yeah, you're out. Oh. 1399 oh, that'd be good. I'm going to Oh, he does turn them off. You do have a ball stuck. I think you have an oversized ball in the very corner. An oversized ball. <laughs> yeah, it ripped one off. Oh no. Does that mean I have to reball it? Nope. You can put just one in. Just put, put the stencil back on and uh, put, put the solder paste in just one. <laughs> Alright, nobody likes doing them. 
just one. That blows. Instead of it being like the vacuum one where you click the thing and yeah, I got a this got a button. It. This it's it's got a cell with it that fires. Yeah, so you can blow it. with it or push push or a sucker. Very nice. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. I do shit on my back door. Do you? <laughs> That's why I don't do anything in the summer. I mean, winter. They're kind of a setup. Which one was it again? <laughs> oh. Right here? There's my BGA station. My IR oh, station. Yeah, yeah. So, for as cheap as this is, it works. How much was it? 200, well, now it's 280 bucks, but at the time I bought it, it was like 215 Huh. But yeah, this works on, like, so if you've got to do, like, a graphics card GPU. A little bit out with the I bought this and just put one, one reason in particular, and I can't figure out how to it's do okay. it. That's one of the things I was looking for here. Other ones. If they can show me. What's that? that? Yeah. So, the, um, you need a second pair of tweezers to yes, oh, just sock it. Yeah. Where the chips go. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's an it's a LGA, so the Lambert and Rape. Uh, right. Well, those pins get bent. So what I want to learn how to do is to desolder that without melting the plastic one. Well, that's what I, that's what one thing I would like to learn how to do. So I had a giant preheating plate. Yeah, I that's the only thing I I mean, it fits a motherboard. It doesn't. It's, it's like that wide. Because all we did was a giant preheating plate, and I got um, uh, nozzle for the quick that was the size of the, the LGA 775 or LGA 11. How do you get them back on without melting the plastic? That's what I can't. The right temperature. You get more bottom temperature than you do top temperature. That's what I'm with. That's why you can't really get it right. Because if I get too out of the bottom and something bottom, I can just go so my thousand watt this one's twelve foot. That's all this Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, still stuck in the well, this one had uh, digital controls for the temperature and line has uh, these dials. Oh, my so side of it all the strings. I don't want to use it again. <laughs> well, as you can see, I don't know how to do this enough either, but, you know, there is stuff once in a while that you want to do, but, you know, less than a half foot or half foot or star in this, but you can clearly tell, hey, this chip is bad. Yeah. Or the pins on this motherboard have been socketed for the only reason I bought it. Right. And that's what I would like to know, you know, figure out how to. Oh, well, I like the driver. And then you can also buy, if you didn't know, um, if you want to do the monitor testing, you can actually buy a card that'll let you take a regular HDMI like output from like the PC to a card and plug it right into the back of a monitor. Uh, not like this, but like a laptop oh, screen to check it. To yeah. check it, and those adapters are. Sensors can be bad. Yeah, if you look huh. really close into it, instead of being. Um, a flat, yeah, uh, a a flat hole through the stencil. It's going to look like a funnel. Mm -hmm. uh, well, like in that case, you can also and then buy the, that'll get the ball stuck into it. Mm -hmm. It's the just that they, they ran the stencil like through the shell too quickly when they made it. You can buy oh, yeah. adapters to switch them back and forth. Hmm. There's one, it's a new one, I can't remember. There's LVDS and... It's another acronym, but I can't remember what the new one is. PDA, I think. What I've been doing, maybe. What I've been, because I haven't been into this stuff long. I've been buying like broken systems, fixing them. Like, yeah. It's the best way to start. Yeah. That's really the best way to do it. I like to get it for free though. Oh yeah. yeah. I get a lot of that stuff for free and then I fix it and sell it. I, I can't. Do I that hardly ever get any of this for free. Flipping <laughs> one of the balls off and you're done. It's easier if you have a shop because then they just yeah. burn. Yeah, that makes a big difference. It's just one ball. 
people ball. working on the basement, they also get a little iffy. Just take one ball and yeah. just drop them. Uh, like, flux that's... So here's what I was just saying. Um, like the flux that's starting to dry elsewhere. You can take one new, like a round ball ball and take some of the more cured flux and drop a spot on the chip and then drop the, the flux to hold the ball on and then you can flip it over and put it in place and then saw it again. I'll just try it with the stencil again. Uh, it's just an option. True. But if you don't have a stencil. Right? Well, no, if the stencil keeps failing on one, one ball. Man, they're not going back on there. <laughs> What's this thing you got going on here? What? That's just my. I just needed extra USB ports. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> it's a USB dongle. Are you actually been recording the whole time? Yeah. I've been recording a lot of stuff. Here's a ball. Here's a stencil. I got this this one back on. If that matters. <laughs> you got it back on? Yeah. Don't be stealing these for bong screens. <laughs> <laughs> and here is a ball instead Should of. Should I use that other stencil though? Oh, okay. Should I just take one? Yeah, well, yeah, for now. If you need more, go there. What do you have in those? Balls. No, that's solder balls. No, in those things. Oh, that's all my stencils for my for my uh, desk. Those oh, are all the stencils. Oh, that's use. pretty neat. Huh. Oh yeah. Oh, this is a small stencil. That's the new PMIC. A couple of things in here. Heated up with the, the hot air again. Yes. Are you doing another one or are you doing the same one? Are you doing the balls individually now? Yeah. Now the balls, they take less heat? Uh, yeah, kind of. They're really? a little bit easier. A little bit easier. More time consuming. <laughs> A little bit easier at this point, but then, yeah, more time consuming to sit there and pick them up and put them right. in the holes. See, that's my, I don't have any problems with all the soldering, all, you know. Then I have a Mac board just learning all the schematics. And, I don't want to just guess, you know, some people just guess. <clears throat> I 
would like those, but it's always been like that. Okay. <laughs> I do want to check this one. That should be saveable. Just add some flux to it and repeat the whole thing without the stencil. Add some flux to it and just repeat the whole thing. Are these balls still there up top here? They're still in Oh, they're in there. Uh, yeah, just wipe the whole thing and redo. Okay. Gosh, why not? That's how I know to. So I just. Do I use the bigger. No, you can use the micro pencil for this. Okay. And with this or no? No. Just run right, run right across and take a picture of the thing. Okay. 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 This is not the easiest thing I've ever done. Some people love it, some people hate it. like doing it or no? I don't mind. No. It, I, I get them done extremely quick. Yeah. I usually do them for everybody around here because I can do them so quickly. Yeah. I would like to check this one too. Yeah. Yeah. You, get, you cringe when you see these. <laughs> what are they? The new era. Yeah. The new in the newer info here. Yeah. Oh, it looks like there's a pad that's not even there. That looks like it's been popcorn. That's done. The rest of it's done. It's done for. Yeah. Put too much heat on it. That, that's what I see with this bubble. Yeah. See the big bubble around there? Mm-hmm. Oh. Popcorn. Is that what you call popcorn? How much are SMCs? You have to buy a donor board that still has it. The air donor boards have gone up to like thirty, forty dollars a piece. Where do you find your donor boards? AliExpress or we have a buyer in China. On AliExpress, what do you look for? Look for the board number and donor. Or look for the, the board number and SMC and you'll get boards with SMC on them. The last time we ordered airs, they, they came in such poor condition. Really? Yeah, they were really bad boards. Oh. Bull shucks. That's how not to reball an SMC. Well, you can't say you didn't try, right? Yeah. You almost had it. Almost had it, but I didn't. <laughs> 